I can't encourage you enough to contribute to open source. And let me make one thing super clear. It's not just about code. It can be about so many things, testing, documentation, diagrams, which is part of documentation, but is treated separately a lot of the time. I wanna show you how straightforward it is. And to show you what I mean, I'm not gonna pick a project that I know or a technology that I'm an expert in. I'm actually gonna pick a project that I've come across very recently. So if we head over to my screen, you'll see I've got this organization, Apvia. They do things with the Kubernetes world. They've got a lot of open source projects. So if I pick their most active and popular project called Core at the top with a K, I'm just going to go look at their project and scroll down. And the first thing that most of us look at is the README. Before we look at any code, documentation, testing is, is the main kind of abbreviated documentation, their README. And one thing I noticed, they've got a tag 2.4 and they've got an Apache license. So if I click one of these, it just goes to the image of the badge. The contribution that I want to make is have the click of the badge go to the extra information. So the tag, for example, of the release in the GitHub repo. So before you do anything, I always highly recommend creating an issue, especially if it's a bigger piece of work, because then you get to have the discussion with the project maintainers, and then you can make sure that they want the change before actually making the change. As this is a small change, I'm still gonna raise an issue, but I'm not gonna to wait to get confirmation that they're happy with it. Worst case, they close the PR. And I still get the GitHub contribution and the green squares that we all know and love. So let me raise an issue. So here's the issue. I've called the title tag badge link to go to latest release, not badge image. I've showed exactly what the URL is that it will be going to and it will redirect to the latest release. And then to make your issues and your pull requests stand out and make it really easy for the project maintainers to understand your pull request or your issue, it's always good to add images. And I've taken things a little bit further and I've actually added animated GIFs. Let me show you. First one is before. You click on the badge and it takes you to the image. And the animated GIF just repeats over and over. You can see the mouse going over to the tag and it goes to the um, the badge image page. After when clicking the tag badge, I've done right click this time, open a new tab. You can see it goes to the latest release. So that's the, the issue that I want to create. And to make the change, again, is really straightforward. You click on the file you want. In this case, it's the readme.md. You hit the edit icon and GitHub will automatically fork the project for you and let you edit that file so you can raise a pull request from, from the fork. Now you can see I'm in edit mode of this file and I've added the link to the latest releases around the image badge. And then you can preview it. It will show you the changes, it underlines, underlines it here. And if I right click and open a new tab, it goes to the latest release. You can see it redirects to 024 release. So I'm happy with that. So I wanna go down here and I'm going to make a comment using conventional change log commit, which they're not actually using, but I quite like it because it's descriptive. I'm saying it's docs, it's for the badge and the tag badge URL linked to the latest release. Put the issue number at the end, so GitHub will link the pull request to the issue. You click on propose the change, and now you'll see that we're in the pull request mode, and it's gonna go from my patch one in my repository to the master branch in Appvia's core repository. And it just gives you, a, again, a preview of what the changes are, and that's it. That's how straightforward it is to contribute to a project that you're not familiar with. If you notice something that isn't quite right, or you would think it would make more sense, or you see it somewhere else and you think oh that feature would be quite nice no matter how small it is and in fact the smaller the pull request the better because it's more likely to get accepted because it's easier to review if you, if you put yourself in the maintainer's shoes it's much easier for them to review a pull request that is smaller so no pull request is too small leave a comment below let me know what you what you thought of this video and also let me know if you have any tips or suggestions yourself don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe below if you haven't already and head over to our discord channel and let's chat between videos between live streams about open source look forward to seeing you in the next video and the next live stream don't forget open source